What is up? It is Zane here, and today we're gonna be using Synplant. Let's fucking go. Okay, so already starting off with some pretty beautiful sounds. It's like a. What the fuck is this? That ugly G note is like a plant. I'm just clicking around. What the heck is happening? We're neuro generating on the spot. Center interface, we have the seed. Alright, so we're gonna grow some branches. Oh, I wish I had a bigger midi. Because I feel like it's just ugly right now. Each branch has unique timber. The further you pull it, the more different. How do we just max it out? <laughs> Why do we have a drum and a fucking percussion in the same thing? Rotation control? No way! <laughs> I like how... When you have a bass strain, it's literally a fucking drug, okay? Like, we regenerate this one, it sounds like shit, and when we pull it out, it's gonna sound like... Extremely fucking unpredictable, okay? Like, there's some bass! Clone, selected branch. So now the whole thing is one bass form. So we got more secrets for you. What if we go in the DNA, though? Because it's almost there, but it's a little too much. <laughs> Some sub. No. Oh. All right, I'm honestly pissed as fuck right now. You all know the real truth about this fucking plugin. I actually really do appreciate it because it actually has a really unique, one of a kind functioning and just sound overall. I'm just really fucking judgmental. I don't want to be mean to the plugin. Oh, we're literally spinning this little plant around, generating seeds. Like, what the hell am I doing with my life? Usually, when I'm using a synth, I'm going in to like make a specific sound or like consistent type of sound. And the consistency from this one is what an actual fuck. What I love though is when you just go from whatever this plucky thing is, and then when it's all expanded out. We just got weird clicky things. Like all these sounds are individualized and distinct. And they have kind of glitchy vibes and like just honestly retro vibes for me. Like look, we got freaking Nintendo in here. So that's what I really love about this synth. The random chip tunes. And sometimes you hit gold with a random sound. I also like the unique atonality knob. I read the manual but forgot most of it. It basically just makes your stuff sound crazier. Like, what does it do to this? It like sucks it up. Ah! It looks like the air is just being sucked out of this bubble when you pull that knob up. The effect just makes it like washed. At the same time, you do get consistent random presets because when the leaves are tiny like this, all of them like sound the same. Like, look at this. This is a clean patch. I will be honest. I've become really lazy as a producer. I don't like sampling this hard. I don't like clicking when I'm making stuff, to be honest with you. Like, the more automatic it can be, the better. And this one is like, really, you gotta move. But maybe instead of going to so extreme, I will keep it in the middle. But just take a listen. Let the sounds hit your shock roll cells. I love how we can just go instantly into depression mode though, just with the luck of a seed. And it does have some nice features, so overall final fucking thoughts and review. I believe that at one point I will want to use this for its intended purposes. Not every synth needs to be perfectly to my taste for me to be happy. Damn! That atonality. We just see how quickly we ruined that song. But it's secretly good. And now we got all our samples that we can choose from, so this is the beautiful part of the plugin. All I gotta say is that my standards of synthesis are extremely fucking high right now. Okay, maybe the random is not as bad as it seems. Why the fuck is it an ARP now? It really gives birth to new life. I've been working on my own plugin though, 
I'm trying to make the most top tier sounds that I would actually use and enjoy. But it's not like the most complicated synth ever since it's like my first official official release. But trust me, I got the ideas. I just need the funding. I'm thinking about since 100 and 200 years in the future right now. I'm not current. My biggest struggle, honestly, right now, I'm loving my synths in life, but the percussion and drums in my life are just not hitting like any emotional things that I personally like. Like, there's not one drum plugin that can solely fulfill all my desires for rhythm and groove. Because, like, that's always an important part of your songs. I don't know any songs that, like, just have synths only. Like, they have to have, like, some clap or something. This sound hits, though. I'm just addicted to the fucking synths. Like, you just hop in here and you produce this. Hearing these sounds makes me realize how much I have to fucking learn. Because, honestly, the manual of this plugin really just, like, went over my head. I just fucking hate reading. Alright, the last secrets that I have for you involve the presets, actually. So there's a massive amount of selections. Usually I'm gravitating towards the most beautiful things for me, which are these pads. They do feel super alive, which I'm assuming is the math behind all the synthesis. The other key detail is that you can control and shift click the knobs when adjusting to just experiment a little more. Because you really don't know what the hell is going to happen until you just do it. You got the tuning knob, all these other things. And if you really want to edit the Geno Chromes in here, my favorite thing is the FM mod. You know I love to adjust those frequencies, modulate them up, change them up completely with one knob. And the synth runs on these A and B oscillators, so you can change the form of them up. We also got these noise factors, so you can really go in depth if you really want to get deep inside. And the undo redo is just like key always and a good plugin, like that's necessary. The only plugin that I even think compares to Synplant is Playbox here. It's essentially the same form of synthesizing. We just click this dice button and we're getting random beautiful results pretty much every time. The main difference is that Playbox runs off of samples and a collection of sounds, and Synplant is pure synthesizers, which allows you to shape the sound a little bit more how you want, but Playbox also has really updated effects in here, and it's just so fucking beautiful and modernized, like, this is a secret plugin for sure. Randomness is some of my favorite featuring inside of plugins, especially when you're getting the most unfathomable sounds that you couldn't even, even imagine up. This really is why I'm the synth fucking master though. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I want to know all the fucking synth and art secrets, so please fucking comment anything. Chase your fucking dreams no matter what. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.